Unity's animator sucks, although being a powerful tool is mostly terrible for traditional pixel art animation. So I made my own animator. It's called Pixel Drift, and I've been using it in its basic form for the entire development of Deer Hunt. It consists of four vastly different systems, and today I would like to take you through the inner workings of the first three of them. But let's start at the beginning. Why make my own animator? Take a look at his archer character. He has a few basic animations. Now, if I want to create a cutscene using this archer, I can reuse his animations, as Unity assigns them to animators. The only way for me to accomplish this is by expanding my character controller to contain a cutscene behavior or create duplicates of this animation. Another problem with Unity's animator is the way it handles events. Events are directly assigned to animations, meaning we can't change them depending on what situation we are in, and we can only assign methods that live on the animator's game object, which is a big no-no for someone like me that likes to split my functionality between multiple child objects. And I won't even mention the animator hell. So how does Pixel Drift handle that? Starting with the most basic system of them all, animation, it works just about how you would expect it to. We have a scriptable object that holds all of our frames and a simple animator script that plays the animations. However, animations and animators are independent from one another. Of course, animations can be easily set up or modified thanks to the custom made inspector. Animation blenders are more interesting as they are very versatile in what they can do. As I said earlier, to play an animation, we just have to pass in an animation sheet into the animator. However, you might prefer to set up an animation state machine or an animation tree that will choose the correct animation for you at runtime. I myself prefer to mix and match the methods together, playing the basic behavior animations within my character controller and using blenders for purely visual changes. Let me show you an example of this in Deer Hunt. Our deer has two different idle animations, depending on whether he is or is not in danger. However, his behavior is absolutely the same, it's just a visual difference. Usually what I would have to do is change my deer's idle behavior to choose the correct animation, but in this situation I can just contain that logic within my animator, so I will create a new blender that will switch the animation depending on if the deer is safe, create a new instance of this blender, pass in the animations and just tell the animator to play that blender and figure it out. Now efficiency wise this doesn't really change anything, but what's important to me is it separates behavior from visuals. What's also great about it is I only have to create that blender once, and now I can use it for any animation I want. Want the rabbit to hide it when the archer accidentally aims at him? No problem, just add in the animation blender and it will work with zero additional code. Last but not least, the event system. As I said earlier, the Unity's animator event system is very limited, however, Pixel Drift allows you to do all of the things I mentioned. You can have different events on the same animation depending on the circumstances the animation is played in, and it allows you to pass in any method from any game object you want as an event. And that's all for now. If you are interested in getting Pixel Drift for your own project, consider becoming a patron. I have made the alpha version available for my supporters, 